Sister Wendy Beckett, the nun whose passion for art made her an unexpected television star, has died at the age of 88. Her broadcasting career began in the early 1990s and she went on to appear in several BBC series. Each time filming was over, Sister Wendy returned to her life as a hermit at the Carmelite Monastery in Norfolk, where she died this afternoon. David Silito looks back at her life. Scripture tells us that the angel gave was sent by God to a virgin in the town of Nazareth. Sister Wendy Beckett, a nun talking about paintings. Who would have guessed that this would have been such a hit? God became man, and it happened like this. There was never a rehearsal or a written script. She simply stood and spoke. And millions in Britain, America, and around the world sat and listened. And here we have the great mythological scene, but I really can't afford to spend time looking at them because I want to get onto this huge claw. She was 16 when she first joined the nuns. As a child, she'd been almost too clever. Well, I never expected to be able to talk to anybody. But I took that for granted. That was how people were. They, they never found anybody they could talk to. At Oxford, her tutor was J.R.R. Tolkien. She received a congratulatory first, not so much a degree, more a round of applause. And she began writing art books, but the pressure of work and coping with epilepsy led her to seek almost total solitude. But then, during a rare excursion to a gallery, she was overheard talking about art. It was that that led to her TV career. But she found the idea of fame and celebrity mortifying. Her joy was silence and solitude. Even at mass, she sat alone in the belfry. Well, that's where I'm going to be for eternity, I hope. Tucked away in the belfry of the graveyard. Thanking God for allowing me a life of such unimaginable happiness. Lucky me. Sister Wendy Beckett, who died today at the age of 88.